Ahoy mateys, it's the Curse Captain, and this guide video is for all you pirates who just want a short and to the point guide telling you everything you need to know and how to do the new Fort of the Damned. So without further ado, let's jump into this. To activate the fort, you need to acquire all six flames of fate. If you were here last year for the Festival of the Damned, you will know exactly how to do this. However, here is a quick chart for you explaining what to do. Green you get for being killed by skeletons. Red you get for being killed by lava or magma in the Devil's Roar. Purple by snakes slash venom. I also heard that Kraken Ink will do this one as well. Blue you get from being killed by sharks and or the Megalodon. White you get from being killed by lightning. And last but certainly least, because we all hate to be killed by other players, pink you get for being killed by an enemy player. Now, a quick note here, they made it really easy to get that white flame. All you have to do is take out your cutlass in a storm and you are now a beacon for lightning strikes. Once you have collected all the flames of fate, now you need to get a ritual skull. There's a few ways this can happen. You can buy the voyages you need from Duke that will lead you to a captain that will drop a map that will lead you to a skull, or you can just pay some gold to get a map from Duke leading you directly to a skull right here at an outpost. Either way, you need to acquire a ritual skull. You can also get these maps from random captains that spawn on random islands that'll lead you to a ritual skull. Honestly, there's lots of ways that you can get one, so pick the one that you fancy and go for it. Now, once you have all six flames of fate and a ritual skull, you have to take them all to Old Boot Fort, which has now been taken over by Dark and Evil Magic. Once there, you have to place all the flames in the creepy looking ferryman statues and place the ritual skull as a sacrifice. A quick plug here to my quartermaster, J. Maul C., who did the acting here. It is quite brilliant. Thank you, J. Maul. Now, once you've placed the Ritual Skull, boom, the fort is activated, and the question is, now what? Well, now you fight Shadows of Fate, and these skellies can't be harmed by mere sunlight, no. You have to use the correct flame on them to be able to attack them. So make sure each of your crewmates has a different color and coordinate this fight a bit to make things a little easier. A quick couple of notes here. If you're wondering what flames you need, look at the statues, and on the floor in front of them is a grate, and if you see the hands reaching up through it, that is the flame that's activated. Another thing here is on the second to last wave, there is a strong, and I emphasize strong, chance of gunpowder skellies spawning with mega kegs. So be very, very careful, or if you like to blow things up, go for it. Now the final wave is here, and you are versa no simple skelly captain. The ghost of Grey Marrow has come back from the grave with some vengeance, and you will have to kill him before you get this beautiful key that opens the best fort loot I have ever seen on the Seven Seas, or in our case, the Sea of Thieves. Once you kill him and you get the key, you can open the door, and bingo bango, you're good to go. To make fast work of Grey Marrow, use the cannons on your ship, bring them to the shoreline, and just let him have it. If you have another Ritual Skull on your ship, you can actually do the fort back to back. Just make sure you keep all of the beautiful flames that you need to activate the fort again on your ship and the Ritual Skull and you're good to go. You may want to check the horizon before you activate the fort because let's be honest, everyone's going to want to come pay a visit. Well, that's it for this video, mates. If you liked this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you really liked it, you'll make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me when you do that. Thank you guys for all your support, and I hope to see you out on the seas.